Don't you wish you could find the world's most perfect food and eat it regularly? Well, I've discovered what it is. Sardines. Sardines are on the top 10 world's best food. They are packed with omega-3, whatever that is, all kinds of vitamins and minerals. And they're a sustainable resource. As long as the whales don't eat them all, there'll be plenty to go around. Today I'm going to test Princess brand sardines. This one I found at a Oriental food store. Let me say that again, Asian food store in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It was one of the best stores I've been to. They had a variety, perhaps even a plethora of different brands and varieties of canned fish and other creatures. I had a very good time buying a selection of these to test. This particular brand, Princess brand, claims to have 75% sardines in the can. That's interesting. And 26% of Hule de Soja, whatever that means. Let's see if it's interpreted on the back. They often print these cans in one nationality and then they English label it for the rest of us. Sardines, spiced in vegetable oil, 72% sardines, 26% soy oil. In addition to that, there are red chilies and salt. It's a product of Morocco. Now, it's very neatly packed in the can with a nice pull top. I like how they print all the way around the can, but I can't see what's on the bottom. The expiration date on this one is very important. And the expiration date is used before 9-8 of 2021. So this one is rather fresh. Sometimes they get really close to the expiration date. You gotta be careful. The usual precautions, if you've not seen this before, disposable paper plates, disposable utensils, plenty of absorbent paper, and a plastic bag to wrap it all up and dispose of it in a non-smelly process. I almost always consume creatures that have bone scales, potentially tails and insides intact by the use of a cracker substrate. The crunchiness of the cracker hides the fact that you're chewing bones and scales and all this other stuff. Most of the time we don't encounter that and when we do the bones are rather insignificant because the cooking process and the absorption of all the liquid they have become pliable and they disappear in your mouth quite, quite fast. But there are some exceptions to the rule. This one claims to be spicy. Usually when it claims to be spicy, I don't find it to be too spicy. We'll see what happens today. I've never tried this one before. First, the pull top and to see how well it works. Always listen for the air, the air to hiss into the can, not out. absolutely no sound at all. Not necessarily a good sign. At least the oil is not oozing at the top. It does seem to be rather watery rather than oily. Oh, that was quite the jolt. You always have to be careful pulling the top because that smelly oil that's contained within can go flinging all over the place and just one drop is very noticeable. So be very cautious. Also, you get to the end, wiggle the top back and forth. Don't just pull it off. You could injure yourself, cut yourself, or who knows, maybe poke somebody's eye off with this thing. I don't know. Just be careful. Now, this should be immediately transferred into a plastic bag or some other appropriate receptacle. I will move this over here. Now, as you can see, this one is very full to the top of oil. And the segments of fish are neatly placed in there, not jumbled in carelessly. I'm impressed with the, with the cleanliness and the care taken to pack these. Upon initial inspection, I see no scales. I do notice that this is the type of sardine that has a lot of dark meat to it. At this point in my career, I don't know what the significance of that is, but typically with the dark meat sardines, there's a little more harsh flavor than the light. I shall attempt to remove one intact. With the aid of the cracker.
and I have done so. Take a look at the impression left in the can of that missing fish body and all of the resultant fluid and oil with the signature red hue, which indicates spice. Smell is not significantly appalling, not necessarily pleasant, tolerable. Let's see if this one splits apart, exposing any surprises inside. Mmm. This one definitely has the entrails intact, which I will remove for this first trial. And in fact, let's actually remove the skeletal remains. Most of them came out, not all of them. And for those of you who are squeamish, don't look, but you can see the entrails or internal organs, as we technically say, right there. But it leaves a pretty clean fillet once you easily remove all that. Don't worry about the skin on the other side. It is nearly detectable. That's aesthetically pleasing. But it's a bit large to fit in your one off that one gulp, but I'll give it a shot. Here we go. Hmm. Highly flavorful. I would attribute much of that initial flavor to the residual oil that is on the outside of the skin. But the aftertaste tells me that the meat also has, the flesh itself has a lot to do with the flavor. So far this is starting out on a really good note. Hmm. Well, extremely pleasing experience so far. Let's take it a step further. Since that went so well, we'll attempt to eat a segment containing the bones and the entrails. See if that steps it up a notch or down. I will simply bisect the fish in half. Although, is that redundant terms? If I bisect the fish in half, I'm actually putting it in quarters, perhaps? As you can see, it is not as aesthetically pleasing as the previous sample. However, it is much more practical to place the whole thing in one's mouth. The addition of the fish's internal organs did not significantly change the taste. Slightly a saucier texture, maybe a bit more sour, but not substantially different. Let's try the tail section. Here. Get a good close-up of the texture. Once again, not significantly different, but not a step or a notch up, definitely not a step, uh, notch down. But I guess what I would ultimately suggest is that I would split these in half, remove the insides, and eat them as fillets, because that is what I would say the best flavor and texture 
and maybe aesthetically appealing as well. I would have to say, if I were to rate these, these are definitely one of the best brands of sardines I've had so far. Doesn't match King Oscar. But this is definitely one of the best. From Morocco, I suppose any of them that you would find in this shape tin are probably from the same packing plant. The only variable would be the type of spices that the different companies would put into it. They're probably all going to look the same. Little fishies with no heads. All with bones and insides. Probably the dark meat variety. But they will be different tasting because of the spices. All in all, thumbs up. Thanks for watching.